before we jump into this video, I just want to give a big, big, big shout out to EA for allowing us early access to Madden 22 so that we can capture this content. Now, before we get into it, I just want to let you all know this was an early build of the game. So if you do see a bug here or there, that's likely why. Let's jump into it. What's good, everybody? And we're back. And today, we're going to be playing our very first game of Madden Ultimate Team for all of Madden 22. Our very first game of Mutt, and I'm super excited about it. We're going to be going up against Ancap, a fellow Madden YouTuber. And we actually played a second game on Regs, which is going to be uploaded on his channel. So I'll make sure to link that in the description below, along with the rest of his socials. So super excited about this game. I don't want to take any longer on this intro. Let's jump over to Mutt, go over the menu stuff that changes from 21 to 22, jump into our lineup, then we'll jump into the game. Starting off with the menu here, it's actually very different from Madden 21, and I feel like most Mutt games in the past, it's very different, very new. We have all of our play stuff, solo challenges, solo battles, head-to-head -head seasons. You'll have play a friend in here as well. Mutt champions, weekend, which is weekend league. We have squads. And we have drafts so everything that you're going to be playing is pretty much right here you have missions which is like kind of like objectives uh from years past i believe then we have our marketplace area and this is the lineup in the binder so now i mean that's really the, i mean they had the competitive thing before as well that's really all there is for the menu i just wanted to show you that it's kind of different kind of new kind of cool i like new stuff i like when they change stuff up let's take a look at the lineup now we actually started trevor lawrence as our qb and i was close going with tom brady but the reason why i went with trevor lawrence is because they're both field generals so they could both get set feet lead and i'll make another note here in a moment about the abilities we'll talk about abilities that's gonna be an important note going into the game but since they are both field generals i went with trevor lawrence because lawrence was faster uh, we also have patrick mahomes but we're just gonna be playing lawrence in this game derrick henry and christian mccaffrey are both gonna play in this one uh then our wide receiver core uh, um pretty solid across the board our three starters were Devonte adams jamar chase and Devontae Smith. Now, I'll talk a little bit more about personnel and ability choices in my game that's coming out later against Pavin. But for this one, I just wanted to show the lineup, show what we were uh, playing with. But I'll go a little bit more in depth in that one. Now, to talk about the abilities, so we didn't, we actually didn't have any in this game. I'm going to talk about the abilities during it because I thought they were activated. But what happened was with Player Friend, it was um, they just weren't on. Okay, they weren't, they just weren't on. And I only had three. <laughs> Three activated to begin with instead of the 10, but it's a whole thing, so don't worry about that. We only had three. Uh, we, we didn't have any abilities, so anytime I reference an ability, I talk about set feet lead, I didn't have it. So just I just wanted to note that for you, but the ones I chose were these, and again, I'll go to more in depth on my uh, choices on why I made those choices um, in my game against Pavin. So I also talk about at halftime the changes that you can make to your abilities. Again, since I didn't have any abilities activated, we couldn't do that right so I'm, it, it's the whole thing it's funny but it is what it is and uh so this is the defense and again i'll talk about i'll show you the abilities that we are going to have but we didn't have any activated so we could not change any at halftime but i will be breaking down the I, we're gonna hopefully have them activated in the next game and i'll break down uh what i liked the most and why i picked what i picked and we'll have more than 10 so we can change some stuff at halftime do the whole thing but I, I'm just excited to get you this game. It was a fun game. I'm recording the, the lineup here after the fact, uh, but which is actually important because that way I can explain to you that we didn't have the abilities even though I talked about them. Sorry, sorry to ramble. I'm rambling here. Let's go to strategy here. We're using the Patriots offense and the Giants defense. Super excited for Madden 22. Let's jump into the game. All right, here we go with our first game of Mutt in all of Madden 22. We're going up against Ancap today. A fellow Madden YouTuber, their socials will be linked in the description below. Super excited. Here we go. We're starting off on defense in this one. I'm just going to be talking about differences from Madden 21 to Madden 22 that I noticed. First thing right off the bat is the scoreboard. The scoreboard looks a little bit different. And then we have the, I believe it's the momentum slash possibly home field advantage. Not sure if that's a mud or not, but there is momentum for sure. Actually, no, there's no home field advantage. What am I talking about? It's not leaning one way or the other, but momentum is there. That's pretty cool. I have no idea what the best defenses are yet. This is our first game of mud. So I'm just, I'm just lurking around and we're gonna get a pick our first play of mud. Our first play of mud. Are you serious? Are you serious? A pick six, our first play. And look at the momentum shift. Let's go. Oh no, we got stuck at our DT. We got stuck at our D. Look at Miles lurking though. Look at Miles out there. I'm nowhere. I'm nowhere. Good tackle though. 
Oh, wow. I forgot to do my justice. We're in big nickel. My my deep blues are everywhere. Everywhere, but nowhere. Because they're dotting us. And Cap just laser. Okay, we, we got the nice pick six of the first play of the game. But these last couple plays, not the best defense. Defense is tough. It, it feels a lot tougher than it, than it was in the past. Like, well, I mean, last year. I don't, I don't know. It, it changes every year. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm just excited to play the game. And if I ramble on in this video, I'm sorry. But it's just the excitement talking. I hope you all are excited for Madden 22 also. Let me give credit where credit's due, though. And Caps Laser on this drive. Bounced back from the pick six. The pick six was nice for us to have. You know, get a little momentum. And you know, get us off with a touchdown early before we even got the ball right. But now, they're showing that... Air cap showing he's gonna laser us a little bit, and that's that's okay. That is okay. I hope we can laser. Okay, all right. It doesn't matter if it's man 21 or if it's man 22. If we're not on a hash, we don't want to pass. We're running the ball on the first play. We're running the ball on the first play, and we do have Christian McCaffrey and Derrick Henry, and both of them have ability, so we will be using both of them throughout the game. Just a note there. I don't know. Really, when I run the ball, I want to use Derrick Henry. When I pass the ball, I want to use, use McCaffrey. But we'll, we'll probably do a little bit of both with both. Both with both? That's a little bit of a tongue twister right there. Not really at all. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Stop and go? Okay, run backwards and go? Or just run backwards? Touchdown! Touchdown! Oh, I thought we overthrew it. I thought we overthrew it. Let's go. What a throw from, from Trevor Lawrence right there. Now, I did notice the windup. Okay, the set feed lead is not Gunslinger when it comes to that release speed. I felt like that was a long windup. I just want to note some new things. Everything, every time I see something about the game that might be worth noting, I'm gonna say it because I did recommend when we went over um, when we went over the lineup screen, Trevor Lawrence is the QB that I think is best. Set feed lead could be really good. It could be really good. I don't know, but keep in mind. If it's the, if, if the release isn't faster, it might just be worth it to use a fa like a, a faster QB. I don't know. I don't know. It's the first game I've played. I Hint, stop rambling. On to the next. I know I'm probably being annoying when it comes to this video, but honestly, but honestly, it's the beginning of Madden. This is my favorite time of the year for Madden. I love starting off Ultimate Team, so I'm excited. Please forgive me. Give me a little bit of lenience here for the rambling because I'm excited, I'm hyped, let's go. So I just actually got word from Ancap mid game here that uh, his controller, or no, sorry, his screen was shaking because of the momentum. That's mad cool. We couldn't see it on my screen, so I'm showing you their screen here. That's super cool. If you get my, all right, now it might not be so cool if our screen was shaking. I might be a little shook a little bit about how we're gonna get some points, but it's pretty cool that when, when we're up, it's happening to them. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if what if momentum changes in the second half, and maybe I'll get a little bit nervous with my screen shaking. Oh, that was actually really good pocket presence right there because they were about to have a dot. Seven for eight though for Ancap. Since that first pass, he's been lasering me. What? We gotta do something on defense because I'll tell you what, completing every pass that's not defense. That's not defense. That's just uh, oh. oh. Is that us? Is that us? That's us! Let's go and look at the momentum! Look at the momentum! Are you all as excited as me for momentum? I love new stuff in Madden. Hopefully we don't get uh, hollered at right here. Oh, we had B! I think we had B. I gotta take a timeout. Are you all as excited uh, about momentum as I am? I love new stuff. I try to think every year about different things that they could add. And I wasn't thinking about this, but I really like this idea. Now, I don't know if I forgot to activate it or what, but I thought I thought we had running back apprentice activated and we're not able to get our table route. So I don't know if I did something wrong or what. I might've accidentally forgot. And uh, that's cool. That's definitely cool because we can work without it, but just something else to know, we don't have running back apprentice on Christian McCaffrey like I thought. Oh no, I don't know what I did, but that's a super touchdown. No, no, please, go, oh, uh, yes, great dive, great dive. If we can hold a three right here, that'd be awesome. That was an amazing dive, I mean, what? I'm run committing. Oh, they passed. Oh, well, yes, yes, wow, Ramsey on a run commit just made that play. Come on, come on, Ramsey. Don't catch me, Tyreek, run, no, no. All right, we definitely can't kick from here either. These are early kickers, I just have elite kickers. So we, I don't have anything like, I probably have to get to like the 
three yard line. Pits, pits, toe tap. Yes, 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 yes. All right, it's halftime here. We're up 10. I think, oh, wait, I was gonna say, I think we can change our abilities at halftime. Now, I, I don't think that there's anything I can really do on offense because I only had 10 AP. But defensively, let's see. We can, what does that do? We can unlock there, unlock there. But where could we, where could we, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know. <laughs> I, so Ancat was also telling me that he can't see any of his adjustment icons when he's adjusting with the momentum where it's at. You see the question mark there, so I guess that's what it means. That's pretty cool too. That is pretty cool too. And that's nice to have. So if you get momentum, you're like in a really, really nice spot to, to like try to keep your lead because they have to go, they have to battle through a lot of tough things. Fight McCaffrey, is that a first? It's not a first for a fourth down. We're going for it. Come on, we need one play. Touchdown, touchdown. Yes, yes, Jamar Chase for the, let's go. Let's go, because that was a fourth and one. That could have changed the whole game. Now we get to keep momentum and we have a three possession lead. Nice read, nice read. I got stuck on that. I got stuck on the wrong player right there. That's a good dot, good dot. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, I'm telling you right now. Oh no, I'm telling you right now. Screens, bubble screens, slip screens. Screens are what get me every time. Jail breaks, I guess, jail breaks screen that time. That's one that I, I, I don't do well against screens. If you're playing against me, mix in some screens because you're probably going to have some success with it. Oops. Oh, I missed. I missed. I'm telling you though, we're through like three quarters. I'm really liking the game right now. I mean, I'm not great at tackling clearly as I'm missing tons of tackles, but I'm enjoying the game. I'm enjoying the game. It's definitely different. If you play current gen last year and you're playing next gen now, it's definitely very different. The movement. Now, it's, I, I even feel like it's a little different from if you played the, if you play next gen Madden 21, I feel like it's just a different, it's a different feel. It's a different feel and I think that's a good thing. I think that's a good thing. So, I, cause I feel like every year I wanna play a different Madden. I don't wanna feel like I'm playing the same game. And usually I feel like it is a different game. This one, I definitely feel that way. One, oh, okay, all right. Well, great drive by Ancap right there. Makes it a two possession game, takes away our momentum, right? So here's the deal. We wanna, we wanna, we wanna take some clock right here and try to get a score. We're not on a hash here, so we're not gonna pass. So I'm just gonna take this opportunity to ask you all, what are you most excited about for Madden 22, right? Is it the CFM updates? Cause I'm pretty sure they made a ton of CFM updates that people have been asking for, which is really cool. I'm excited about that. Just for people that play CFM, I don't really play it, but I'm excited for you. I'm excited for you. I like the, uh, I like the momentum. I like home field advantage. Now, uh, I don't think there's home field advantage in Mutt, but I still think it's a cool concept, right? So, oh, I, okay, I got confused. I couldn't find, when I can't find the user, I get confused and I'm trying to stop and go and really I just end up turning around and ACAP was on the D-line there. I got confused. I lost my train of thought. Let me get back to it. Yeah, so home field advantage is not in but It's really only, I think it's just, I guess it's a regs thing and a CFM thing or maybe just a CFM thing. Uh, but I'm excited for that. I'm excited just for every new Mutt year is a different year, right? As far as like new items and stuff like that. That's always exciting. Let me see if I can fit that pass in there. Pits, Pits, Kyle, go, Kyle, go. Yes. I'll tell you something else I'm excited for too is new metas. Every year, especially on defense, there's new metas. For the most part, people like, well, the blitzes work differently. Coverages work a little bit differently. Offensively, we've seen a lot of bunch and trips tight end in the past, like the recent years. But as far as like the route combos, those change too. I love finding new metas and stuff like that. So that's gonna be exciting. I'm just excited for Madden in general. It is Madden season and that is pretty awesome. And Derrick Henry, I think Ancap only rushed two people right there. You saw the pancakes. When you only rush two people, you typically get pancaked. I'm pr well, I think that's a thing, right? That's Is that still a thing? That was a thing in past Madden. I think that's a thing now. I don't know. I don't know. First game of Mutt. So we'll see, but that looked like that was only rushing too. Oh no, we got stuck on the D-line again. Stuck on the D-line pretty much means auto laser right now because my defensive coverages have not been great. So I gotta do at least a little so with my user, so I'm stuck on the D-line, I can't do much. Hey, check that out. Okay, so it tells you what it does. So they're having trouble seeing deep, deep passes. I don't know exactly what that means, but 
that's pretty cool so you okay the bottom right there hold the line away team has improved blocking i i, I didn't get to read them both i didn't get to read them both but I'll, I'll put them on the screen here so that you can read them i guess these are the, the momentums that are on the field and i guess are the ones that are activated at that time so that's cool so that's cool so now it was only one on that play it was only one on that play because they, they they got a dot and they brought the momentum back down this momentum is cool it's gonna be something new to learn it's a new element to the game Oh, that's a super laser. Okay, that is a that is a super duper duper laser. That's a steamer right there. We're just gonna run this one out here. But this was a fun game. This was a fun game. Look at Derrick Henry. Okay. All right, we're gonna go down here. Don't want to run up the score, but th this was a fun game. I love this game. I love new Madden's, but this Madden 22, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like the change to movement. I think it's going to be an adjustment for a lot of people, including myself, but I like it. It's fun, and uh, I'm excited for the year. I'm excited for the year. I hope you all are too. Great game to Ancap. We have another game coming out, hopefully later tonight, against Pavin. I'll break down a little bit more of my reasoning on my lineups, uh, my ability choices, everything like that. I'll try to break down some more. Maybe, hopefully by tonight, I can figure out uh, oh, the, the next video. I haven't figured out how to do the halftime ability subs because that did not go well in this one. I clearly messed something up, but hey, it was fun. I hope you all will tune into the one later. We can show Pavin some love on his YouTube channel too. This is just going to be a fun Madden season. I hope you all are ready for it. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Only if you want to. I love you all. Take it easy. Peace. Madden 22 season is just about here. Super excited about it. I'll see you all in the next one.